All right, so go ahead and introduce yourself to the people, man. Well, my name is Rocket, you know what I'm saying? I'm from Inglewood, raised in Chicago, Southside. Welcome back to another interview with Ask the Streets Media. We got the big homie Rocket, straight off the block, south side of Chicago, in the building. You'd be surprised what they talking about in the hood. Well, yeah, I, I wasn't growing up in the south side of Chicago, right? Yeah, I'm definitely south side of Chicago. You know, we got a West Inglewood, but I'm from the south side, you know. I grew up on 75th and Eggleston, you know, I went to Harvard School. Then we moved, you know, to 73rd of May where really my life began. And I met everybody who I run with, you know, and dialogue with now. I ended up going to Stag, you know, Cook. You know, I met a few schools, grammar schools, that is. High school, I went to Calumet, you know. Shout out to them Indians. And, you know, it was, I could say it, it, it was good and bad. You know, it was ups and downs. I had a good family, raised from a good family, so I can't say that. I want, I'm one of them products that say they had drugs in the family and all that. I can't say that. So, 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 so you saying that, that that most of the guys you grew up with they can't say that, or, or, or you just like one of the few that couldn't that could say that? I'm saying I'm just one of the few that can say that. So, you know, a lot of people that I did hang with and stuff, you know, they was coming from them homes. Okay. That that you know that's so normally they speak of in Chicago or about Chicago. So I was I was put into um, how could I say this? I seen I seen what was going on in these other households that you know what I'm saying wasn't going in mind. I seen the love of mine and the different you know things that was going on in others. That's interesting because you know you, you got when, when they think that everybody who was deep into the streets probably came from that 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 that, that drug ridden household and it, and it's and it's true in a lot of cases but not in every case. Then. Okay, um, so how what was the game banging situation about like that over there? Well, where I grew up at, you know, Inglewood always been mostly GDs, so, but. What's GDs? Gays of Disciples. Okay. You know, I'm from 73rd of May, you know, Stones over there. What's Stones? Black Peace Stones. Now, now, you know, you know, now when they talk about gangs throughout the nation, I mean in America, they usually talk about the GDs, the, the gangs, or the vice lords. They don't, you don't, you don't hear about the Stones. What, what the Stones? What's, what's that? Because <laughs> the Stones, like, we, we shouldn't let anybody <laughs> be a Stone, first of all. You okay. couldn't just, anybody can be a Stone. And, you know, it's like back in the days, I ain't gonna lie, like everybody wanted to be, you know, folks. Folks were so big. Everybody wanted to be folks. Folks was everywhere. <laughs> you feel me? You know, you ain't gonna know about the Stones unless you grew up. You know, in the High Park area, you know what I'm saying? And you, you know about the Stones, or you know, one of your mothers or something went to school with one of the brothers. But you know, the Stones did a lot for the um, Chicago area. And I can also say, you know, we did a lot of destruction, you know, in the Chicago area. So it's time to rebuild. Yeah, 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 it's time to rebuild. So, so like, in Inglewood, you saying he was a stone, he was a black stone, in the midst of a whole bunch of the gangsters? Is that what you said? Yeah, we were like the only, one of the only stone sets in Inglewood, you know, wow. besides a couple other, you know, we had, we kind of had it rough. I'm talking about, you know, it was on popping that day, you know. My block was, you know, 730 May, but I lived on 730 Green, so I'm walking back and forth, and GD's all through that, you know. And when the, we had like big targets on our heads. Everybody know who we was. The one like we was, you know, out here faking and flying, as they say. You know, we we were some of them little shawties that was on the front line for real, for real. Okay. Now, when you compare the generation when you grew up to the generation today, that's that's making all the headlines as far as being shy rap. Right? What's the difference? Now? What's the, what's going? What's the difference? Well, I ain't from Chirac, I'm from Chicago, you know, <laughs> right? Chi-Town, you know, that's what we used to call it, you know. Well, I can say we came, it was still structure when we was coming up. What's the main structure? Well, as far as household, for one, you know, okay. you, you learn right and wrong in the house before you even stepped in these streets, Okay. you know. Okay. So, 
once you got out in these streets, you already knew. Then you knew the guys who you was dealing with, they, they not playing, you know? Whatever you decide to join up and be, you know, it was rules and regulations. And um, just respecting or following the rules and regulations, it was dire, you know, consequences for people. So, you know, like right now, anybody can almost say they whatever. And, you know. And so you saying a, a, a shorty can just wake up today and say, I'm folks today. Yeah, if his friends is. <laughs> and he folks. If all his friends is, whatever he is or whatever area he growing up in, he can basically say, this is what I am, and he ain't gonna have to go through no, I don't know how the folks do it, but he ain't gonna have to go through no creation or nothing, you know, he ain't gonna have to, Jesus can be a he star just can start throwing it. No, no, no lit, no he, laws, he, no nothing. He, Turn he, his hat, grab him a gun. Put on some red. Put red on red some red hair, red, red bandana, <laughs> and, and his crack in our head. Then he look at you like, you ain't supposed to be around there. If you done been around there, you know, <laughs> trying to challenge you. Yeah, he you asked know. who you is. Huh? But like I said, you know, it was structure. We, we knew who the big guys was. We knew who the legends in the hood was. We went there to talk to our big guys like the way these little guys just So what you think happened like that? What, what, why you think they disrespectful like that? What, how did they get it? How did, how, did, how did this come? Well, it all starts from political also. You know, we can go back to the Black Panthers and when the drugs start getting flooded in mm -hmm. the ghettos. You know, we we can we can go, we can go back to that and, and and start from there, and you know how the government start, as we say, liberating black women, as far as the Section A and not not having the father figure in the home. In that little time, yeah, right? people getting locked up and you know they breaking the family structure. So when you was a shorty, family structure. When you was a shorty in Inglewood on the south side of Chicago, all the businesses was black owned, right? Um not really. But oh. you had a lot of you had a lot of black owned businesses. Majority may have been it was like, you know, I was, I'm a seventies baby, late seventies baby. So I really seen the eighties and stuff. By the eighties, by the time the eighties came, you know, it was a lot of um, foreigners coming in, you know. They were starting to come in. Coming in and, and building and, and getting their establishments going on. on every corner, right? Oh, they everywhere. <laughs> and talk to us like we ain't supposed to be in the neighborhood. Like we ain't supposed to. <laughs> you know, That's crazy, right? It's crazy. We stand it's for real crazy. We want something no, we stand for it. We got to do, we gotta do better. We definitely got to do better. <laughs> okay, so, um, but yeah, back to the shorties, though. So why why you think you so so you saying okay, so you saying the shorties you saying I, the generation you grew up in turned to crap? No, first of all, it's it's for my generation to I say like a five year span. That was like eighty three babies, eighty four, eighty five. Them was like the last. You know, I'm gonna say the eighties period. Them like the last kids that kind of seen some home structure. You know what I'm saying? A lot of kids in the in the, in the early '90s and stuff. You know, stuff started really getting bad, and you know, crack was at all time high then. Yeah. So people, mamas, strung out, aunties, they seen it all in they all in their crib. So by then, it's really taking a hold on the black families in the black neighborhoods right about now. You know, right. crime at an all time high, gang banging at an all time high. Right. So it was like that was like a critical time for not just black people, but also for Inglewood, yeah. you know, Inglewood and took a, 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 a gymnastic change as far as structure and you know, the household. Yeah, the household goes, and it's it's just it's 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 just the generation gaps. Okay, so you saying it's a progression, right? So how I, how I see it, right? You got a whole the generation you grew up in. We still had our mothers and fathers at home. Right. But See, a lot of people now, a lot of these kids now is getting raised by their their grandmothers. And even even and even if they was on drugs, it, it, it was it wasn't like we disrespected our parents and they still. Oh no, no doubt. Yeah, I don't care if your mama did whatever. She, you're not about to disrespect her. You because didn't disrespect. She still go. You, you know, and, and they still had some. Do what she got to do as being a mother. But then it came. But I guess with the music came, and then with the movies, you stopped respecting crack kids. <laughs> As if somebody got a, you know, I don't know. I, it wasn't, it wasn't even that. Like I said, it just, it just was a whole new era that was coming upon the world, and the world wasn't ready for it. I guess these, these are Generation X people. Now, what that state generation called Generation X? Millenniums. Or millenniums or something like that. These, these new, you know, kids that they predicted that 
you know, that's gonna be and bring out this. So you, you basically on. saying it's a gradual progression it's that a gradual, to what they read to, to this. It wasn't just something that happened overnight. We seen this happen over years. We seen us going from Dang. getting money, cause I ain't gonna lie, the uh the drug era brought a lot of money to the neighborhoods. Okay. So families and grandma, if your grandma needed her house fixed, her house was fixed. You know, we're in the era right now where the bank's snatching our grandma and them houses and it's so it's so much so many abandoned houses in the neighborhood right now. You got you no, know, the neighborhood already tore down from the murders and all the um, think about bullshit though, going on. That's, that's, that's deep though, right? Think about this though, real quick. You had a whole generation of crackheads who forgot to teach their children how to how to how to do something, right? So I, let me say, let me give you an example. You can pay a crackhead ten dollars. He fixed the whole plumbing in, in your house, and mm -hmm. all your plumbing to be straight. Right. Or he'll come and put a whole wall up. Or, 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 you know what I mean? Whatever. You know what I mean? Well, it's, it's, like, it's, it's like I said, it's a family but, structure. Right. So if, but I'm saying, if she's on crack, in our day, if your mother or my mother was on crack, we we still got a strong family structure that go pick up her slack that he, she, she's not going to even really be missed in right. this child's life as far as. Hold on, hold on. What I'm saying is that particular individual who was that handy and mm -hmm. knew how and had that skill like that, they didn't teach their child that. So you dealing with a bunch of kids who ain't got those skills now. All those skills is gone. You know what I mean? Right. So so now they, people don't really understand how hard crack really hit the hood. You know what I mean? And so don't it's just like man, that shit hit hard. Yeah. It, 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 it definitely hard, did. You know, and, and so we missed a whole generation of people learning skills as far as being a mechanic. You know, you can go to the alley. Or mechanic. going to school. They hook you up. They don't look at just, school. Like we look at school. You know what I mean? Yeah. And also, I'm going to tell you, we, we had people to look up to. You know, we had Michael Jordans and and and, 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 and doctors. You know, when, when we went to school, the first thing, what you want to be? Oh, I want to be the president. Oh, I want to be this. I want to be that. You don't have, everybody want to be a drug dealer now. Yeah. You know, everybody want to be a rapper. The rapping, the, the rapping at an all time, I'm talking about, you used to really have to, people used to be scared to rap when we was coming up because you really had to have skill. You know, now it's just you get on the hot beat, turn up, well, show you all know, your guns. You know, they blame Chicago for drill yeah. music. They say, they say. Uh, well, I'm saying it's it's, it's an era of music that came. That you, it's not it's not deny it's not deniable. It's not music. I mean, you can't say it's not music, but it, it got its own genre. You can't put that in with hip hop. Drill music is different from hip hop. Mm -hmm. So when you're trying to put the drillers with the hip hop stuff, then then that's where you got the problem at anyway. That's just like putting rock and roll with the um, heavy metal. I mean, I mean the um, yeah, the country with the right. with, with the heavy metal. You know what I'm saying? You can't do it because they different genres. You know, drill music got its own genre. You know what I'm saying? So when you when you try to combine the two, then that's where that's where you gonna get the point of finger. Ah, oh, that's not hip hop. No, it's not hip hop. Stop putting it with hip hop. You know, put it in its own frame. Put it where it's supposed to be. So that yeah, and so so that's what the shorties is on now. They on drill music, pills, and 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 goddamn it, um, and linking up. Oh yeah, now now this, this, now like we started off with the crack. Now they just stopped tearing the neighborhoods down with drugs. Cause now I, I we want we want drinking syrup when we was coming up. We want popping Zans or popping any pill, you know, in up. Chicago, there's a lot of things that we didn't do in Chicago that people do now. All these drugs and stuff, nah, you know, you had your- We thought that was white boy yeah, stuff. Yeah, we right? thought that was white boy stuff. We weren't, we weren't, we weren't dealing with the drugs. You were smoking some weed, you were, you were drinking. You know what I'm saying? That's as far as it goes. You know, you had some people that was doing heroin, some people doing crap. But as far as all that other stuff, we weren't doing that. Now it's like, it's just an open door for whatever you think that can get you high. And turn up on it. But look how that, look how, look how the, uh, the dominant culture of America worked, though. Because, like I said, we thought that was white boy shit. Nah, basically. So we we always end up doing what white boy Oh, yeah. Like, well, not, not even that. It's just, it shows you that drugs, period, don't have an age limit, don't have no race criteria. You know, drug, drugs are dr drugs, don't care who, who take them. <laughs> you know, it's not just, oh, just drugs for this. Nah, drugs for everybody who feel that they need them or want to take them. So it's not like, you know, we was wrong in thinking that, but we was young. So we didn't we didn't we didn't know that. We didn't know drugs was for everyone. Right, right, right. That's deep though, man. That's deep you know what I'm saying? That's deep. You know, a lot of there's a lot of people talk about Chicago though, like I was saying. And they don't really have an inside perspective of what's going on down there. They really don't. And um they I, I what what I wanna do, 
I want to I want to almost humanize us because they don't I don't think they think we humans, man. I'm like, are you an animal? Well, you gotta you gotta act like this. If they go try to dehumanize us, then we go ask them: Are they are they um, their bloodline where they came from? And the, and they the people they came from that that brought slavery onto us and stuff. They tried to dehumanize us. Nah, is is they is, is they as bad as them? It ain't just white. It ain't just, nah, it ain't just white. But this is this is what we this is what we this what we talk about right now. I don't talk about the the, the black. Bojangles or coons, as we you know, as we was talking about earlier. I don't talk about them. I don't talk about the people that don't know. Just want to talk just because they got a mouth. You know, show me some statistics. You know, you can't. I can't beat a dog in a, in a corner. Then say, then get mad at the dog for acting like that after he was bred to act like this. Right. You know, I'm pointing the finger at the dog. Yeah, the dog bogus for doing what it's doing. But at the same time, though, look what happens to the, be the force the dog to do this. You can't force somebody to do something then we point the finger at them. So everybody who um, point the finger at the people who are doing it instead of the people who caused it. And what what better solution do we got to fix it? That's what I want to hear. You know, I don't want to hear what they doing. Of course, we see what they doing. We don't have to hear it. You know, we see what they doing. So uh, until we talk about what caused so, the problem okay. so and what, solutions. Let's talk about a solution. What do you think the solution would be right now, today? How can we get the hood back on track? How can we get it back to how it early Well, ended? first of all, first of all, when they when they knocked down the projects and displaced all those families and brought them to neighborhoods such as Inglewood and so forth, you know, that, that, that caused a big problem in the neighborhood too because you got people that's from another area coming to your area so they're not going to treat your area like you probably would treat it because you grew up around that like if you was in the projects you're not about to go down to the projects and maybe treat the projects according to you know what i'm saying because you're not from down now so now as far as you were saying okay you're saying the people was displaced in the projects right now, now check this out what about the fact that the process was deteriorating? They, they was going down. It was. It was. It was. Well, if you, know, you if you don't put no money, it, it wasn't. It was kind of the people, um, as we say, they supposed to cap it up. But at the same time, it, we we we're talking about people that's on welfare. You know, all they can keep up is you know their little homes that they got, the little hallways and stuff. They don't have money to fix elevators. You know, and and things of that sort. So it was like, it was, it was a plan to let them deteriorate. It wasn't like they was trying to let them come and blossom and be uh, predominant citizens of Chicago. So right, right. it was all the plan once, you know, once they was getting all that money over there, you know, they, the, they, they wanted them to deteriorate. They wanted that land back, so. And they got it. Well, they definitely got it now. It's like a whole new place. It's like a whole new place, you know. It's, uh, I, I can still see the skeletons of the buildings, you know, when I ride past, just just look and know what was there once upon a time. But I hear somebody say, if black folks took care of their own communities, it would, they wouldn't be able to justify the community. Well, first of all, you we gotta have black leaders. That's you no, know, that's for the people. You know, we we got leaders right now that's selling us out. Every every way, everybody we we put there that's supposed to be getting the money to bring. You know, it ain't like I don't think we put them there. I think somebody else put them there. Well, whoever put them there, if they put themselves there, or you know, who I, we need to get in in a place where we're more active on the people that we're putting into office. And when the people not doing what they supposed to do in office, then we yeah, just snatch them out immediately. You know, it ain't no give much. No, nah, he had his chance. Yeah, it's all like we don't have time. We already behind. So you know, we don't. Have, when, once once you get to, once we put you in a position where you supposed to be trying to help us, then that's what you're supposed to be on. You know, you're not supposed to be um, doing 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 other things. You know. Um, the politics in Chicago. Well, oh, that's why a long time. Windy City, that's yeah. It. Chicago always been a gangster city, you know, from back in the 20s and beyond, from bootlegging to all the underground things. You know, once once the the, the, uh, the people that was in power, some of them used to take care of the city. You know, they didn't want to see the city rain down, but once them people and the greedy and crooked people got in, you know, they didn't suck the city dry for, you know, for, for everything, especially in our, in our community. What you think about the Democrat Republican situation? Because black folks historically vote Democratic. And, it's, and like when you deal with, when you look at the Chicago 
situation for the black folks. It's like, well, it's actually, really first, I think we was Republicans first. Then we went over to Democratic. But side, still, so. right now, though. Yeah, right now for the like, almost the last sixty years or so, yeah, we've been we've yeah, been yeah, definitely. Yeah. Dem but what have Democratic did for us? Yeah. <laughs> so maybe we so. should be Republican. So I don't. That's why I don't have a problem I with. Was, um, I don't Republican ass either. Well, not 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 the ass either. But I'm I'm, I'm just saying as far as now what Donald Trump is doing right now as far as bringing money and stability back to the country, I'm for it. Now all his oh, the methods. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't just slip that fast. Now listen, I was gonna explain. I was gonna explain. I was gonna explain why I said just, that. You can't just slip this past. Now you are a black man from the south side of Chicago, Inglewood, in the goddamn ghetto. Yeah. You just said Trump might be the answer? I ain't saying he's the answer. Okay, well, he, okay. He, so what you saying then? What, I'm what, saying as far as the government goes right now, we already just said. We just hit Obama in there. You tell me he's a he's, he's a black man. What did he actually do for us? I don't want to hear Obamacare. I don't want to hear about your Obama link phones. I don't want to hear about nothing that really didn't help us, but harbored us and held us back as far as he could have brought jobs. You know what I'm saying? Trump trying to bring jobs. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Then 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 hold on. Then tell then tell people if you got if you got a company, your 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 company can't be all the way overseas. Then y'all you know charging up the people. You know, it gotta be that in, in that sense, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's what a president's supposed to do, bring stability back to the country. You know, we got we got a lot of money leaving in the United States, but we don't have a lot of money coming in. You know what I'm saying? Especially so if, if we don't have a lot of money coming into the, the country, what you think we got coming into these neighborhoods? <laughs> so that's what I'm trying to say. So Trump Trump say I'm not saying he's the answer. You feel me? Because he got his skeletons too. But right now he's talking some good stuff. So we all we can do is see where where, where it leads. Oh, you can know, do is see what's going that's, on. That's that's it. That's all. That's what I mean by that. There's a lot of people hoping he get in peace and all that. I'm yeah, well, it was a lot, it was a lot of presidents that need to be in peace that they didn't. That they did. So <laughs> you know, and we that's know they true. did. So we ain't gonna get to talk about 9/11 and shaking some shit up. And, and I ain't mad at nobody who's other. shaking some shit up. Right. I'm gonna tell you the truth about that. I ain't no Trump fan though, but I ain't, I ain't mad at nobody who's shaking shit up. Exactly. Some shit so that's up. all I'm saying. We ain't had, you know. Let's see what happens. You know, that's all I can say about that. Yeah, but back to what I'm saying about the you know our politicians and the people that we got, you know, that's allegedly talking for us. And they're talking for their own pockets, they're talking <laughs> their own you pockets. know. So until we, you know, in other countries, when their parliament or their government is not doing what they elect them to do, then they they make sure that they're not in government anymore. See, we are we so passive and always or don't care because we got a little money or we got a little house on the hill with a little white picket fence and a little little, little dog running around barking. We happy with that situation. We don't we don't care what's going on to the now when when your house in, in jeopardy now you want to come pick it with the with the with the little people you right. know no you should you know people don't that's all that's, that's a big I, I cause think one of the main things that's wrong with politics is the lobbyist situation and 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 so this is some this is a hidden part of politics that, that that people probably don't know I don't know but they they the lobbyists pay they pay the politicians. To, to push bills, different laws and shit, different different agendas and shit. So they bought off, and even if they go in there with good intentions, they wind up being bought off or or or, 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 or blackballed. Like but if, white, if, white if, if we do what we're supposed to do as people <laughs> and stick together, then no matter what they do in there, because. It's, as you say, it's more of us than it is of them. As far as, if we tell y'all to go in and do a certain job, then that needs to be the job. If you're not doing the job, we need to get up. I don't care if you gotta go to work or nothing. This person not doing what he's supposed to do. You need to get up out of there. Now, when you talk about, as a people, you talking about white and black people. Yes, yes. You talking about America as a whole. Right? Yes. As a type Latinos. Yes. You know what I mean? So, now, with all the races and racial issues that's going on that's keeping the racial tension going, <laughs> well, that, well, that's not gonna happen. We get, we have, <laughs> we got a long way to go. First of all, and a lot of things to to fix. So you know, that's that. Them just some of the, the the issues that need to be fixed. You know, we just can't jump and start on that issue. You know, it's a lot of things we got to start. With. First, we got to start off. The first thing we need to start with within within yourself. You know, 
once everybody starts with that step within themselves, then the bigger picture go automatically come. So if you're not right within yourself, or like you said, if you plan on having hidden agendas, then you know, we gotta we gotta get rid of people like that. So it start within ourselves. The, the issues that we gotta that we gotta take care of, we're not gonna be able to do them until you know we come together in the household, on the streets. No, we gotta come together as small first. We just came first thing we do, oh, uh, let's overthrow the government. Nah, it ain't got to do with overthrow the government. We need laws and regulations. They break, they break groups like them down, though, you know. Yeah, but it's black. it don't have nothing to do with a group. You don't have to be a group. You know, it's just, it's right or wrong. It's just, it's right just, wrong, these right. just the laws of the land. Right. It's just the way right. things supposed to be. This is the Constitution. Well, this is what the Constitution stands for, or it's supposed to stand for, I mean, you know. Now, when we talk about right and wrong, right, now we're getting into philosophy. Right, so this 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 almost gets into religion, and so what's right and wrong to you, not necessarily right and wrong to them. You know what I mean? So like, you got a religion, you religious? Um, yes, you can say yes. I, you know, you I believe in God. That. I believe in God. So I don't, I don't. As far as being religious, you know, what do I mean? Do I go to church or the Kingdom Hall or whatever? Because you know, my family's Jehovah Witnesses. So you know, I, I believe there's a God. So, and I know Jesus Christ is the Son. But that's that's what I believe in. But I'm also a, 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 a student of life. I keep my mind open for other things. I read, I don't just, you know, I go reading other things and, you know, look up other things. I give everything a chance. I don't just, you know, shine it away just because, you know, somebody else told me. Now, you know, being in the streets and having that philosophy is almost like an oxymoron, right? No, because- How does that work out? Well, in my lifetime, it worked good for me as far as, I done met a lot of good people as far as me having a good heart and believing and kind of believing in God. Even though I was, ain't nobody perfect. You know, even God had warriors and stuff that killed and did things, you know, for him, you know, when it was time. Everybody who, who, who was God's people wasn't angels. Some of them people were sinners and did ungodly things. So it, it's, it's, it's the practice of 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 the, you know if you if you want to practice this 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 negative you know we we we, we constantly gotta pray and, and and try to stay on the right path but it's a thing called practicing you know what I'm saying you go you could be out here every day just know you won't build bullshit just you just know you ain't got no you just all day you trying to rob steal kill or whatever you know them, them type of people that I'm talking about, even though if they think it's right right it's 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 what the collective and what's good that's gonna make us go on. Now, that's not gonna make us go on. So that's how you know it's not right. You feel me? That's not gonna help us um, rebuild. That's not gonna help children be born more, you know, people being on negative. So we can say that we can say, to, to ask that question that you said as far as some people might not think what we think is, it's, 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 it's the feeling. You know what I'm saying? If we all come to a conclusion, this is going on, this is going on, then who is this one person to say this is not to go on? You ain't got to be a part of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. But why should you have to be negative towards it? And we trying to do something. You know what I'm saying? So people that, that want to be on negative and you see somebody else trying to do something good, not for just they self, but for the whole collective, then they got to be the ones on bullshit. Right. But you know, there's a lot of selfish people out here, man. They all about... They don't even understand the kind of the dynamic that you got that nothing was successful with people just being by themselves. Right. That's ain't, right. ain't no type of well, well at least as far as what we understand as being success, ain't nobody really get there by themselves. You had some type of help. Well, we can we can look at we can on some type of team. As you as you saying, you know, as we know, people are selfish. Look where it got us. <laughs> this was this was selfishness. It was selfishness breeds. This is the type of things when you're selfish and don't care about the, the the next person or you know this this the, the, what's going on in Chicago. You no know, people not caring. You see another family down there struggling or whatever. You know anybody saying you gotta give your all or whatever, but don't nobody want to talk about nothing until it hit home. Look, Timmy just got killed down the streets, but you know it's a sad situation. But soon as your child, somehow to your child, now you wanna, you know, Dang call man. call in the rebels and call on the uh, National Guard. No, it should have been that way when this child died. So that's the selfishness too. You know, people don't care about what goes on with somebody else until it hit home. Okay. 
All right, well then, I, I guess I'm gonna wrap it up with you then. And um, anything else you wanna tell the people? Well, I say Chicago, we need to do better. You know, I guess we're working on it. Um, I appreciate, you know, Third coming out to talk to me with this interview because, you know, we don't really get inside perspective of, you know, somebody from Chicago. You know, it's just, this is just the first of many times that y'all see me talking or, you know, with my music or whatever, you know. So just stay tuned and Chicago, keep y'all head up. We got to do better, man. Red Rocket signing out. Yeah, Access Streets Media, baby. If you have questions that you would like to ask the streets, contact us at askthestreetsmedia at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.